Deccan Chargers before 2013 in a new name after 2013 qualified for the playoffs six times out of eight played finals two times and the winner of the 2016 edition of IPL this video is going to be about Sun Risers Hyderabad Welcome to another video by Trek Tips. My name is Manthan and in this video we are going to do a complete franchise analysis of Sun Risers Hyderabad. Let us begin with the strengths first. Strength number 1, the strong top order. Number 1, David Warner. Now for the past 6 seasons, David Warner has been consistently scoring 500 plus runs. He is in fact one of the most consistent batsmen in the IPL. Point number two, Kane Williams. And now in 2018, when David Warner was not playing for the franchise because of the sandpaper incident, Kane Williams and led the team to the finals. And we know that this Kiwi skipper really performs well with bat when he is the captain of the team. He scored 700 plus runs in the 2018 edition, and now when he has been again named the captain of the franchise in the second leg of the IPL, you could expect brilliant batting performance from Kane Williams. And a new addition in the second leg of the IPL is Jason Roy, a very big name in the England cricket, and to accompany the Johnny Bairstow, the blustering batsman for England. and for sunrisers hyderabad and these four players make for a formidable top order for sunrisers hyderabad strength number 2 quality spin department two international names rashid khan and mohammad nabi rashid khan according to legend sunil gavaskar is the most valuable player in the ipl history made his debut in 2017 and ever since then he has always picked up 15 plus wickets in all these seasons of ipl a very crucial spinner for sunrisers hyderabad apart from this abhishek sharma and shabaz nadeem are two big domestic names that play for sunrisers hyderabad and add lot of value to the spinning department Strength number three, managing pressure situations. Now this team is very much different from Delhi Capitals because we have seen Sunrisers Hyderabad play very beautifully in pressure situations like playoffs or finals or even when they play against big teams. This is because there are so many senior players in the team. If you look at Johnny Bairstow, if you look at Kane Williamson or David Warner, these are giant players for New Zealand, Australia, and England, and they really bring a lot of experience when they play for the team. And therefore, the young players like Natarajan or Abhishek Sharma really benefit from the experiences of these experienced players. And therefore, we believe the confidence is the third biggest strength for Sunrisers Hyderabad. Now let's talk about the weaknesses of SRH. Weakness number one: fragile middle order. Now Manish Pandey was robbed in by the franchise for a whooping 11 crore rupees, but then his performance has always been under question. Although he scored two fifties in the first half of the IPL, but then he's not in form because his strike rate was not really very impressive. Apart from Manish Pandey, three other players. Virat Singh, Abdul Samad and Vijay Shankar also play in the middle order but then even their form is not pretty much consistent and they are not very experienced players. If Johnny Bairstow, David Warner and Kane Williams and loses their wickets early on, these three players could not handle the pressure because of their inexperience and therefore the middle order is not very strong for SRH. Weakness number 2 not so experienced pace bowling attack. Now except Bhuvaneshwar Kumar there are no big names who are very good at fast bowling and given the fact that the second half of the IPL is going to get played in UAE and the conditions are favorable for swing bowlers Sunrisers Hyderabad might have a bad time the other fast bowlers for the team are Siddharth Kaul, Billy Stanlake, Basil Thumpy and Sandeep Sharma but clearly all these four players are not very experienced and this is the second biggest weakness for SRH Weakness number 3 the injury concerns now the bench strength of sunrisers at hyderabad is not very strong and if senior players get injured this could really affect srh for example in the last season of the ipl the only experienced fast bowler bhuvneshwar kumar could play only four matches because he was injured in the rest of the tournament kane williamson could only join in the second half of the ipl because in the first half he was injured mohammad nabi keeps getting injured and then t natarajan a crucial fast bowler is also injured in this season of the ipl and if senior players gets injured they do not have a strong bench strength and therefore this could really affect the performance of srh so that was a complete franchise analysis for sun riser hyderabad three strengths and three weaknesses if you are an ardent srh fan do tell us in the comments below do you think srh will have a renewed performance with kane williams and as the captain now instead of david warner please like this video share this video with all your srh fans subscribe to the crick tips channel where we bring you more such prediction analysis and franchise analysis till then see you thank you